fresh life and we're live i believe all right what's going on guys yep we're live let me let me get this chat uh it seems boom. like you can see your comments sometimes. yeah i mean they're coming soon be patient no i'm joking oh you can't see it <laughs> yeah well, why what's up guys how is it going my name is fiddler and on my right this time this one the natural beauty is well taken care of your name is victoria and today we're gonna talk about i mean we're gonna have a q a session because we reached twenty thousand subscribers recently and we just want to you know kind of talk to you guys about some things and mm -hmm. see uh you know what catches your attention mm -hmm. is this even Because I don't know what to look at. Okay. Am I looking at the screen? Just, or am I looking at We don't at have anybody, anybody here yet. That's, that's, that's really interesting. Oh, but people are asleep. Okay. Let's see if people are awake or people are not. Oh, one person was not. Good, good. People are, are starting to join now. I think I just said a little earlier. Okay. Yeah, it's public. This is good. Public. I'm going to get some. Yeah. Because there's no questions yet. Oh, I thought Dude. it was grandma. Hello. Oh. Hey. Hello. We. See? Oh. Lily? Uh, well, I'm not uh, reading that name. <laughs> Misha. Misha. Hey. Hello. Maya, okay. Now we. Kenya. Now we have people here, and now it's not going to be too awkward. All right. So. Wait a minute. And then we can actually go like this. We can see. Yeah. There ourselves. we go. There we go. Boom. Love from Dubai. Привет, привет, привет. So guys, this is a Q and A session. Uh, ask your questions and we're gonna answer them and yeah that, that's pretty that's much all. it well right. appropriate questions nothing nasty and right and Except we can see oh can you see now behind the camera you cannot oh, see oh yeah no i can't okay. it's okay you want to switch to this side yeah 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 <laughs> right yeah, here because i don't even Better? see myself yeah right okay good uh where are you right now we are in virginia beach yes virginia jill beach. fluid Yes. Yeah. Come to Dubai. We might come oh, one day. That's actually a dream of mine. I've always wanted to go yeah. to D Dubai. Victoria, how's your Russian? You can speak some Russian right now. <laughs> um, всем привет. Доброе утро. Меня зовут Victoria. Мой моя русский. Мой русский. Мой русский нормально. По русски очень трудно язык. You did, yeah. You did. That's so, it. So, so. Well, she's been learning pretty well <laughs> every day. She's doing so, something with it, and of course, since I'm a Russian teacher right here, be fluent, right here, I've been, I've been giving her my resources, so she's yes. doing pretty well. Okay. Jill is asking a question for both of you. When did you realize that he or she was the one? <laughs> Start first. Oh, it's so early. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Quickly, I knew Fedor was the one when. He, first of all, he popped out of the friend zone because we were friends for a while, and then I was like, what? what? Yes? I about the friend zone. I never knew. It was a calculated move. Okay. Oh okay. So, she ahead. asked me, so I'm <laughs> saying, <laughs> and I was like, not even thinking about Fedor, and he just kept pursuing me, even when I was turning him down. He's like, you're what I want, and I'm going to get you, period. So that's what made oh. me, oh. like, knew he was interested, and then when I knew he was the one was, of course, when he said, I love you. It, I mean, that was when, that was way this later This was a long than, time ago, but still. That was la saying. way later than you probably realized that I was the, actually, no, we both no. realized that we were, we were the ones Pretty to each fast. other. Okay, other people are asking, so hurry up a question. Okay, I gotta, I gotta respond too. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, I, when I knew Victoria was the one when, at first I just wanted to, to date her and see what she's you know, all about, and then, you know, maybe like half a year into it, just just you know talking to each other and spending time with each other was very effortless there wasn't anything like i have to be somebody different to have fun with victoria and it was just like uh you know pretty pretty easy right. match oh my gosh she's are coming okay yeah. someone said my mom is black and my dad is russian at least not and then uh, <laughs> they said that, that they're from vladivostok wow yes, i really want to go there i think that was when vladivostok and it's the most eastern city the, uh what's the other one I really wanted to go to Krasnodar. Krasnodar. I'm not Krasnodar. Sorry. It's it's another one that's hot. Kaliningrad. 
No, it's uh, one that's hot. Mm. I think it's Krasnodar. It's not a maybe, actually. Anyway, that's all. Somebody's awesome. asking, will you be visiting Russia anytime soon, Victoria? Yes, I'm not going to say when question. because it's a surprise, but yes, we'll be going to Russia soon together. Uh, where are you right now? We said Virginia Beach. Uh, I got the question. Okay, good. Because you, cause cause you uh, keep reading the, the ones that are already in school. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be in Russia soon. We want to go and travel to yes. different places. And if you guys didn't hear and you were in Moscow or St. Petersburg, we're going to meet up or something. Let us know. Let us know. Um, how long have you spent in Russia? I guess I, I can respond. I spent in Russia my entire life pretty much until I was 17. Then I moved to the U.S. because I'm, I'm going to school here now. And Victoria spent, what, two, two months in Russia, two and a half months three. in Russia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm three. With uh, um, just just learning and. Um, oh, someone's yeah. responding in Rusi. Oh, good. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Listen, listen to it right there. I got the question. Okay. Um, okay. Rusi. So, can I just answer this funny one? Go ahead. Victoria, hook us up with Fedora's friends. Oh. Your girl needs herself a Russian man. Well, go to Russia <laughs> and find yourself a Russian man. Samaya. Samaya. Bot. But back then, I don't know. But um, with, with my friends, you can go my VK. I can send you the link to my VK. Yeah. And you can just go go onto my friends and <laughs> find somebody. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and, and I keep a pretty tight list of friends there. So it's not like anybody um, yeah. from Be Fluent or anything of that. So it's basically just my actual friends. So yeah, and VK, for those of you who don't know who are American, it's the Russian Facebook, basically. It's a what better version use. of Russian it Facebook. It is. What do you use in Russia? <laughs> what do you think of Germany? I got the question. Okay, can we see. switch off? Because I want to read them too. Let's switch no, off. No, because I, I go in order and you go from the I know. Like this. I'm, I'm reading the old one. Yeah. Look, I like What do you think of people. Germany? Um, Actually, one of my best friends is from Germany. Germany. She's from Munich. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, she's visiting me soon. Um, I think Germany is amazing. I've always wanted to go to Munich, um, Berlin, and all these other places. It says the volume is very low. Sorry. Oh really? It should be. It should I feel be better like now. We're screaming. Okay, let us know. I mean, it should be better now because I, I can adjust it here. Yura, let us know if the volume's better. Yura, привет, Yura. It's a Russian name. Oh, it is. Yeah. Uh, people are saying hi. Uh, I'm Bruno from Brazil. I like the the history of yours. Thank you. Thank you. I'm learning Russian, and it's awesome to know about you. It's great. Congrats. Thank you so much. We're happy to spread some culture to you. Yes. And if you want to learn Russian, check out. Be fluent in Russian on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I teach Russian. Um, what do I think of Germany myself? I've been there a couple of times, but when I was a kid, I went there once to mm -hmm. uh, go to World Cup, the soccer wor World Cup. And the second time we went there because it was a Euro Cup, European Championship um, in Austria, but it's pretty close to Germany. And we have my family, my family's friends are there. So mm -hmm. I went there a couple of times, but I was, I was very young. But from what I remember, it's a pretty clean, clean country, clean cities, and a lot of history, a lot of historic castles and th things of that sort. So I think it's pretty mm -hmm. cool um, when it comes to culture. I'm not going to go into politics now. Yeah. Uh, did, did, Let did, me read did, one. Yeah. I've already passed that. We're at, um, yeah. do y'all live together? Not till marriage, boo-boo. <laughs> <laughs> Maya. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can you turn your mic up? Yeah. Uh, we, we turn we the did. mic up. Much better sound. Okay, good. Okay. I, I just wanted to know. It's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, did you, did you Love from do? India. Hello. What's going on? Victoria, did you always want to live in the States? No, not always. Um, I wanted to explore the Americas, right, and uh, and see what America is all about, the U.S. is all about, because you know you you see in back home it's a lot of like American movies, American bands, and things of that sort. So you hear, and American companies come to Russia to you know do business. So you hear a lot about the opportunity that's here mm -hmm. and everybody is like telling you hey if you, if you really want to make it in life go to the US because it's a lot of business there things of that sort so I just wanted to check it out and I was a firm believer that I was gonna go back like I said I'm not gonna be in the States because I really want to develop my own country and kind of contribute to the growth of my own country which I still do but it doesn't mean that I'm gonna be going back but then okay? you met me y'all and then I met Victoria and I can't go back no more <laughs> So, yep. Um, uh, okay, next one. Mm -hmm. And the boyfriend does my hair. Boyfriend does my hair video. What product do you use? Do you remember that? Oh, I used um, 
some um, I don't just remember. okay so before I go to sleep I use actually a kid product because it has like natural ingredients it's called just for me and it's a white bottle with like a pink heart um, you can Google it, and it's called Just For Me, but it's, I use the kids brand for my hair because it has, like, pure coconut oil and, like, all natural stuff, like milk, honey, and all the, a lot of other products break off my hair, and that one just makes my hair look good. So that's what we used in the hair video. You want to come um, on this one or no? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Lisa... Marcelli. Okay. Uh, you're somewhat of a different white man. I guess it's a compliment. American white <laughs> sometimes fetish, fetish, fetishized. Uh huh. Is that how to say? Yeah. Black women. You look at Victoria as a beautiful woman, not a color. That's true. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. I never grew up in any racial kind of difference. To me, it didn't matter. Like, I never grew up attaching color of like your race right to a certain character right that was never in my world even like you mm -hmm. know I, I can see in the states that it's kind of like that when one like one can attach a certain characteristic yeah, to in the states everybody to, to, to everything race. is white or black so right that's the difference and so when i came here it was never like it's just never in my subconscious so i guess that's why it's not an issue for Yeah, and us. the Russian culture is different, so he's not even really tied to white Americans. Right, yeah, <laughs> Russian culture is way different. Way different. Like, Victoria is probably close, closer to white American than I am when it comes to the culture. See what I mean? No. <laughs> Meaning I'm, I'm, I'm I, much further away from an American culture. Yeah, not by looks, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, not by looks, yeah. Yeah, because people can interpret it differently. Yeah, I guess. Um, da -da 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 -da. Fedora, why do you pronounce your name as... Uh, as Fedor and not Fyodor, Fyodor. just curious because oh. okay, Victoria, say Fyodor. Well, I can say okay, Fyodor. It's still a little because rocky. Americans can't pronounce his name, so that's why he says Fedor and not Fyodor. Yeah, it's, it's, it says Fyodor, and for Americans, that Fyo sound is almost impossible for anyway, them to do. It's, it's, they say even Fyodor, still, Fyodor it, it's, it's, it's hard for it's Victoria, hard, even. so I usually call. Fedia. Yeah, Fedia that's what is I easier call him. for Victoria. Yeah, and that's why. And a lot of actually a lot of uh, Russian haters on my channel say, "Why do you say I know. Fedor and Fyodor? <laughs> like you're messing up your your name and just." They're I'm like, like "You're not Russian." Right? Why are you not like representing the Russian culture well? I'm mm -hmm. like, come on, dude. It's not. They can pronounce it. How am I supposed to? You know. It's annoying. Yeah. Would you ever consider living in in, in Russia together once you are married? You can take that one. Um, yes. Okay. Actually, yes. Not forever, but yes. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. um, I would. I would. Like, my goal, and I've told my parents, and I'm pretty happy about it, uh, is, is to live here, mm -hmm. like, permanently, but still spend about three to four months back home every year. Mm -hmm. Because I still, I'm not one of those people who travel to a different country and abandon their own their own culture and their own origin completely i'm not one of those i'm more of a i love my 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 country i love uh you know everything about it i love it but it's just i don't have to be attached to one place necessarily right and so i want to go back to see my families and see my friends if they don't come out to the, the states mm -hmm. of course but I, I believe that here in the states is a better uh, life for me Kind of in, in, in overall terms when it comes to permanent permanent citizenship. Maria Schoolman, y'all are so cute. I'm Russian and my man is black. Go ahead, girl. We love interracial couples. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> Victoria, uh, let me read it first okay. before I hear it out loud. Because some of y'all, <laughs> yeah, some of y'all on uh, our last live, some of y'all asked uh, some crazy questions. Yeah. What was our last live? What was A long ago? time ago. Two years ago. ago, right? Two years ago. In the summer when you were in Russia, actually. Yeah. Okay. That is true. I was in Russia. Okay, Victoria, when you go back to Russia, will you vlog from the restaurant fast food place that was playing the rap music? That was an interesting story from your Russian vlogs. That was yes, yeah. That was Spot and Shoes. So, Sweet Tea Darling Fedor is going to put what the name of the uh, restaurant is yes. that we're at. You can look it up, too. It's actually our favorite burger place in Novosibirsk. If you are ever in Novosibirsk, Russia, Russia, 
go check out Spot and Choose. They're like, it's a very small place, very tiny place, mm -hmm. but they're so authentic and they're rich off their own traditions that it's a it's a pretty new place as well and it's run incredibly and the open door still are you because i swear when we came in there they were playing rap music for me oh, that was not the case <laughs> it was even when i came in there by myself when you were lazy at home said so could you give me some burger and fries please and i went there and still playing rap music whatever still playing football on the tv Cause, everything because they knew i was coming back y'all no <sighs> um guys Again, it's a Q&A session. Please ask your questions. 43 people watching us now. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't even look at that. Um, ask your questions. Whatever interests you, ask it. And do we have some, something to, 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 to say, like talk about? If nobody's asking questions, do you, do you want to say something to people? Oh, wait. Somebody asked a great question. No, we can just answer questions. I feel like we're always on deep conversations. So I guess. this video is gonna just be fun <laughs> and right. whatever. Somebody said, What do you like to watch on Netflix? We can literally do this whole video on that because I, I should probably should. <laughs> Let's do the whole video on that. Yeah, I love Netflix, y'all. I love TV, so um, go ahead, babe. What we I guess let's start by just shows, not just Netflix. It's okay. full of all, all that stuff. We are watching Project Runway. Uh, which is but always gonna admit that he loves the show y'all <laughs> why is it that so did that it's just funny because a lot of guys are like that's for girls but i mean i can see how it is mostly for girls because girls are you know design and fashion all this stuff but it's interesting to see the dynamics of designers mm -hmm. and ch different challenges and i just love watching different things and kind of take in some lessons that i can get from anything so project runway runway is one, one. What's that O.J. Simpson uh, oh, show? Oh, uh, the assassination uh, of somebody Versace. Versace. we we just started watching that one. That one's brilliant. And yeah, it's pretty good actually. It's great. That one's brilliant, but it's 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 decent. It's decent. Yeah, you're right. It's a A minus. Um. Then we started watching World War II history. Oh yeah. Documentary. Didn't finish. Stop on on second episode. Because you know it's kind of it's kind of it's a hard to watch. It, it, you gotta be in the mood to watch it. You gotta be you gotta want to watch it for you to watch it. It's not mm -hmm. like oh let's put something on and watch mm -hmm. World War Two documentary. Um, then we of course watched the entire Black Mirror, of course. Oh of course, and the movie oh Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch. <gasps> let's just talk about that real quick. Oh my gosh. So originally, <laughs> as I, I I told you I get hyped with like TV. Right. Originally, I watched Bandersnatch with my cousins and. They were like choosing all this crazy they stuff. They failed. I blame them. We literally had to start over four times, and I don't want to tell you what happened. So we lost, basically. Right. They lost. I watched it with Fedor for the first time. He wins the whole thing. I won the whole thing for the second try. And answered <laughs> correctly. I was just like this. I mean, they were. They want to zoom in on us a little bit. Sure. This. I was just like, oh, um. Yeah, I won for the first brilliant. time. And like a lot of the things when she was telling me about their choices, I'm like, what the heck would you choose that? It's just not not logical at all. Why would <laughs> Guys, you... if you haven't seen it, it's the best Bandersnatch, Bandersnatch. on Netflix. It's like, for example, Bandersnatch. they'll be like, do you want to kill the dad or do you want to throw coffee in his face? Like those are the type so, of questions they ask. Let me, it's crazy. Let me describe this thing to those of you who have no idea who live under the rock or just live in a different yeah. country because I guess... And then we'll get on. But Bandersnatch is a, is, a, is a movie, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Right, but you can choose what happens in a movie, and from the choices that you are making, the outcome will change. So the idea is to win the game, right? So the guy is making a an app, right, or a program on the computer, and you win if you get five stars at the end of the movie, mm -hmm. and like everybody worships you, right? Mm -hmm. I think. But if you get anything less than that, you lose and you end up in jail or being killed. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the idea is to win and to choose the right, make the right choices. So that's that. Mm -hmm. So that's four. Then we watched Ozark. Oh, my you forget no. about that? I forgot about that. We're waiting for the next season. Ozark. Ozark. I think Ozark is, is truly one. is truly the best show I have ever seen because it seems like it happened. It seems like the entire thing they just as if they recorded actual yeah. conversations it's that were brilliant. happening. Because like you can actually believe every single word they said. Yeah, Ozarks and um, me Method. Method. Oh, somebody asked, yeah, what's a good Russian movie it's on Netflix? There is a great yeah. Russian series you... called Method. Yes, Method, you okay? have to watch it. Unfortunately, it's only 
you know, with Russian voice, but there's English subtitles. Subtitles, so you'll be fine. So Victoria watched it with subtitles in English, and she understood it pretty, mm -hmm. pretty well. And but it's just... Even if you're learning right. Russian, somebody, Misha said, any study text, watch Ruski shows. Or right. watch, listen to music that really, really helped me. And of course, do Fedora's Be Fluent right. um, and Russian Channel. But really watch the shows because it really helps. And you understand the little stuff. Like when they say "что," you'll be like, oh my gosh, I know what that means. It means right. what? Like just little stuff you'll understand. So. Yep. Uh, I can add up some studying tips since, yeah. I'm, since I'm a teacher here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm all talk. Go, yeah, go ahead, studying teacher. Studying tips. Um, figure out what your goal is when you learn Russian or any language. What is your goal? Mm -hmm. Talk, read, message, whatever. We all are different, right? Maybe you just want to read some poetry. So what's your goal? And imitate that goal as soon as possible. If your goal is to talk, start talking now, right? At whatever level you are, practice that speaking and talking uh, muscle. Mm -hmm. Train that muscle. And then third, develop a habit. How, how many minutes a day are you going to spend with... Um, with Russian, or mm -hmm. with, with, your, with your language. And then, ask for feedback. Find somebody on the internet, maybe it's uh, a language exchange partner, and ask them to check your sentences, check your pronunciation, check your speaking, whatever you might have. Uh, seek, for, seek for feedback constantly, because you're gonna be making mistakes, but mistakes are good, because that's how you learn what you're doing wrong. Mm -hmm. So, set your goals, imitate that goal as soon as possible, Create a habit of learning how, how much time in a day you want to spend, when that time is going to be, morning or evening, and then fourth, seek for feedback. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Another career idea for you is perhaps tourism for Novosibirsk. Sorry for me spending your whole time. It's all right. It's um, okay. We actually did tour Novosibirsk and we made a lot of, oh, you know what? Like as a career, like touring places oh, and stuff. Oh, yeah, that would be fun. We actually, when I had my channel, which I didn't want to continue anymore because I'm right. really busy, um, it's called Victoria Roland. I actually have a lot of vlogs. It's not Tori Diaries? No, it's that Victoria one? Roland now. R-O-W-L-A-N-D. Right. A lot of vlogs of me and Fedor from Russia that we were just like having fun, like right. going to the opera, just fun stuff. Yeah. So you can check that out if you want. We'll provide the link. They're really Let old videos it. when we were first getting started. Let me see if it's actually um, it should be linked there. when you get. Oh no, we should add your channel. Yeah, we should add. So Fedor's gonna. Okay. Add, uh, it's okay. Um, I'm, we're gonna. We'll I'm, gonna do it later. I'm gonna give you the link. So yeah. Yeah, right there. It's popped up. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. This right here. Yeah, I need to change that picture. That's old. <laughs> hey guys, it's Fedor. Oh, oh, Welcome back to. Oh, look at right there. I know. I don't right, want to so hear myself. Here's the. Here's the link, the link to what I was trying to do. But it's a career. No, Sibirsk is a pretty small town. There's not much to tour here. Yeah. <laughs> of course, like there's some places, but who would watch that? But we do want to do some oh. like travel, travel vlogs whenever we travel to different yes, places. Yes, we're just in school right now and don't have time. What's Ooh. one of your favorite favorite dates with each other? That's a good question, Maya. It's a look on, on the camera. Your line oh. of, the, of the couch and your dress align. <laughs> 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 Guys, we're so we love it dumb stuff like this all the time. Favorite dates with each other? To me, my favorite date is every time I go out with, with Victoria. Anything it is, it's always it's always great. Stop. <laughs> but uh, typically, just go to the yard house, get some beer and some snacks, and just talk. And is that favorite thing? I think one of my favorite dates is like when we're home, we get all the oh, food that. So they we're so old. <laughs> but when we're home and we have I have like all the food and you bought all the food for us. Right. And we have like wine and stuff and then we just right. binge watch shows. Right. That's my favorite date. Have you ever watched Trotsky on Netflix? Is it real about him? I do not know. I we have didn't no watch idea. It. Maybe we need to check it out. Yeah, Trotsky. I don't know who Trotsky is, Me but um, how do you watch did y'all watch how to get away with Bill? How could I forget Suzanne M? How we could didn't I? We didn't finish on that shows, but that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, if you guys want us to talk more about shows, they'll keep asking questions. Right. How to Get Away with My Murder is one of my other favorite shows because Viola Davis is one of my favorite actresses. I'm talking so fast because that is my show. Please don't spoil it. I didn't watch um, last Thursday night's episode, so please don't spoil it. But that right. show is A1. Um, Fedora didn't really get into it. I mean, I, th I think it's kind of boring for you since you don't really... 
You don't like, it's too many stories to follow. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I'm curious, I mean, we can probably comment on this. Mm. Or next? Next. Okay. I'm curious how different the quality of roads in America compared to Russia. America has great roads <laughs> due, to, due to having better um, uh -oh, climate. It's out of focus. It's bad now. Why does it keep doing that? It keeps refocusing when we move. Mm -hmm. um, America has better conditions, better seasons, better climate. Uh, back home, a lot of it, a lot of roads, because there's constant snow on the road, the water is going to get into the cracks and you know when it gets icy it gets mm -hmm. spread so like water uh, sorry ice and water damage uh, and cold weather damage the roads a lot but in, in the states i think the reason why it's better here is because cities are built around the highways back home is not the way around we build the cities first and then the highways are built so it's just you drive through the city which is never mm -hmm. a good thing when you can tell from Sorry, I was staring at you in the camera. Why? Because you look really white right now, and you look tan. I'm pale. You look tan in person. Well, anyway. Mm. This right here. Did you stretch it? Oh, straighten it. Stretch it. Yeah, guys, this is my real hair. Straightened it, cut it again. Yeah, it's her real hair. I don't hair. know if you can. I this don't. Is all my I don't allow Victoria to do anything with her hair, but to do braids. That's all. Only for when she gets tired of doing her hair for like a week or so. That's all. Fedora doesn't like any fakeness. Nah, no, it's just I anything. think it just looks beautiful with, with, without braids and, and on leaves and stuff. Uh, is BeFluent a platform or site of languages? BeFluent currently we only teach Russian because you know I'm I'm Russian. <laughs> it's just slowly beginning. Uh, you know maybe in the future we we can do something for other other languages as well. Maybe teach English, but. Mm -hmm. uh, this has the point. It's a YouTube channel with a website. YouTube channel is the main source, but we have many resources for you guys to check out if you want to learn Russian. Uh, we we offer programs like BeFluent Camp, which just started um, this Thursday. And we're going to have our first live session today. Uh, it's a 12-week program for beginners to teach you guys all the basics for you to be, be able to communicate in Russian on the basic level. Speak text, read, whatever. Mm -hmm. Stop looking to the screen. I am, I just love you. Weird Sorry, out. he caught me. Weird out. Weird out. And then we have other <laughs> things as well, but let's just like all... I mean, if you're interested, go to BeFluent and Russian channel, and you're going to find all the information about it there. Or go to BeFluentClass.com. You can find all the information there as well. Mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. That's all the questions that we have. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can probably give guys some more time to ask questions. Yeah. Let's see how many viewers, viewers we have right now, so we can know. Maybe it's like two. Yeah. <laughs> we can wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, come on. Load. I think it's going slow because. Yeah. It's not zero people watching. Oh, there's a lot more 31. people. Uh, I, 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 I want to send my Russian minutes. speaking audio, but I'm so nervous. <laughs> LOL. I mean, you can just, you can just do it. I mean, why be nervous? Yeah. If if that's your key to improvement. You gotta get better. No. I finally tried Yar House in Palm Beach, Florida. Thanks for the recommendation. It's bomb. Oh, I'm it is it's bomb. bomb. Especially if you love beer. Jill. Don't get me started. And if you go on a little happy hour, so you can get, you can taste like everything at once. What is it? What do we have? Like, um, not the pop. What is it? Popcorn. What? That you eat. It's not cheese popcorn. curds. Cheese curds. Fedora loves. Cheese curds are the best, but if you like those, don't, don't get them. <laughs> Jill, you'll love. Yeah, that yard house is bomb. Yeah. Bomb. What's the price of your BeFluent class? Uh, we have two products. BeFluent Camp is forty nine ninety nine, so forty nine dollars uh, for the starting at forty nine dollars, and then BeFluent class is only ten dollars a month. Mm -hmm. But BeFluent class, if you want to join. Go ahead, but I would recommend just wait a little bit. We are developing something amazing mm -hmm. that you, if you pay for it, you're going to be like, praise the Lord. It's yeah, the best resource it is. ever. It's the best resource we, ever. We're working on it right now. It's a new platform. So just wait a tiny bit. I, I don't want you to join and get a wrong impression. Somebody asked a good question, babe. We missed it. 
Sheer, sheer wine, you're my favorite couple. Is there anything you miss from America that you can't find in Russia? Oh, that's a really go. good question. Yeah, there was no question mark, so I probably skipped it. That's fine. Uh, is there anything you miss from America that you can't find in Russia? Uh, I would say a whole lot of stuff. I mean, for Victoria, probably is hair product. <laughs> so funny, I forgot to laugh. <laughs> no, so, what I'm gonna say is, ooh, that's cereal, buska. Oh, the way around, miss from America that you can't find in Wait, Russia. Wait, that means so. I mean, we can, oh, we can go both ways. I, go both I ways. thought Russia... We America. can go both ways. I the can say many things. Yeah, about the only thing that I miss person. from America that you can't find in Russia is, like, my greasy food, like, in and out Like, oh. of course, uh. spot and shoes is there, <laughs> but, like, that's what I miss. Um, when you go to the grocery uh. store, there's not a lot of variety of stuff. In America, you have every type of chip, every type of kind of milk, every type of everything. In Russia, it's kind of just, like, two brands. Yeah. Of the same stuff. So that's what I really yeah. missed. I mean, I'm a foodie, so I missed American fattening food. It's so sad. I mean, yeah, because it's kind of like it, it makes you feel good when you eat it. Yeah. I miss Yard House when I'm at home, but uh, back home we have a lot of other good <laughs> beer places that we, uh, me and my friends go to. Oh, a lot. A lot of them. But what I miss from America that I cannot find in Russia is probably the service that people offer when you go to different places. Like, if you go to a restaurant, they can be rude to you, they can bring your food late, but it's, I mean, it's, it's getting better, especially in my city, it's getting more modern and it's mm -hmm. getting more interesting. But of course, like, I just, whenever I'm back home, I'm, I don't have my own space, right? I live with my parents, I mean, obviously, I don't have my own place back home. So, I miss that freedom of doing whatever I want to do and just having my own place, but that's the only thing. And vice versa, when I come to the States, what I miss is good food. Okay, good food, good quality food, good quality meat. When you come here and you eat chicken, it doesn't even taste like chicken, it tastes like some powder. Yeah. So eggs don't even taste like eggs. But of course it depends on wh which place you go to. But back home it's just better quality food and better quality desserts. And some hookah places. Americans don't know how to do hookah. <laughs> back home, top notch. I mean, probably shouldn't say that right, but it's kind of... <laughs> Underage people in your bay. Oh, that's all right. Uh, <laughs> would you ever visit the Caribbean Grenada? Caribbean Grenada. Probably sure. will. Sure. I mean, our goal is to travel everywhere. So. Yeah, our goal is to travel as many as possible. Oh, there's a lot of questions now. What's the craziest job you would ever consider taking, Victoria? Guys, I'm so... Bougie. Craziest? <laughs> Not even bougie. <laughs> You're I'm, so bougie. I'm a scaredy, guys. I, I, uh, that's more as for Fedora. I don't really do anything out of my comfort zone. I eat at the same food yeah, places. Like, it's like I would get out of my comfort zone. I won't either. You're more than me. Uh, guys, craziest I, I, job? Yeah. Let me think of craziest job. I mean, if I wasn't scared, I mean, I would love to like fly planes and jump out of them, yeah. but like, that would be the craziest job for yeah. me. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't want to take any job whatsoever, period. <laughs> I don't even think about it like that. I took one uh, job, which I, I think was the craziest. Is being a salesperson on, on the phone oh. that was that was miserable but uh it was just terrible it's just so so degrading i don't know but craziest job you would consider taking none besides mm -hmm. <laughs> well actually i have one passion that i'm going to share with you guys it's a narrative passion i do i mean probably in about 10 years when i have enough funds i do want to have my own um video games Team, I want to sponsor my oh. video games team. I play Dota 2. I'm very sick of playing it because I play it a lot. Watch all your little Dota friends put like their little <laughs> screen names so you can play with them. Scream? Screen name. Like oh, the screen little names. ID. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, but yeah, I want to have my own team and maybe sponsor, maybe uh, organize it. Because I like, to me, it's interesting to build a team. When you are behind the scenes, like when you put the right players in the right spots and just like it's all, and it's like business, but you see your results immediately. You either win or you lose. In business, of course, like you make money, you don't make money, but it's more like longer term. And in, 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 in games, it's right there. You either win or you lose. That's right there. It's a. Um, Somebody say hashtag the rapping fedora. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just kidding. Um, he gets so happy about it and he will accomplish it. He will. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, just like a passion project. I don't know. Okay, mm -hmm. skipped. Uh, have you ever pranked, pranked each other? If so, what is the funniest, funniest prank? If you oh, ever prank me. Actually, you know what I like to do? We actually, I don't like doing pranks. We don't want our channel to be a prank channel. Uh, but in our real life. It was once that we Not prank, but scare. 
Fedora is such a scaredy sometimes. So like, if he's like, if we're having an argument and he's being mean, mm -hmm. I'll like go hide behind the couch or something or under the blanket. And I just ah, and he's always like ah. So that's like my <laughs> favorite. Yeah, she scares me a lot, but a lot. Or I'll act like I left left like the apartment or something, and I'll come back and scare him, and he'll literally like. I hate that stuff because I typically have my headphones in. I don't hear any steps coming in, so. But we don't do ah, pranks because it's yeah. just not funny to us. It's never a fun thing. I don't know. Yeah, it's never funny. There was an idea to do pranks on the channel, but it was said. Forget so many it. people started doing nature. it and it was just so fake and forced. Right. Just like, uh, it's not in our, in our nature to do pranks like that because, you but know, we're in all our boring. real life, Ricky, yeah, we have fun. But just like playing, just joking. And yeah. Like, for example, Victoria was saying something very personal before we started this live stream and I said, We're live, why are you saying this? She said, Really, really, really started tripping. <laughs> but I mean, it was just a joke like that. Fedor, congrats, you're about to graduate with your MBA. Thank you. Are you planning to stay in the States or get your green card work authorization if we've been through the card? We have been through the car, green card process. Wow. Um, I do want to stay for one year at least and get some, you know, corporate experience. But mm -hmm. after that time, we'll, we, we shall see. Yeah. Are you guys in America? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Fedora. <laughs> Fedora. <laughs> when you two get married, will you do it in the States? And how do you feel about Trump? I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to talk about politics Don't even do, make, make no faces, Victoria. You're going to give it away. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Somebody said, Victoria, skip my question. What question? Um, have you introduced him to African... Victoria, have you introduced him to African American oh, I culture? Didn't see that. Like, have you shown him our movies, television shows, our food? I mean, Come of on, course. girl. Of course. We're, of we're, course. We're, I, 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 we went to Hampton University. It's an HBCU, historically black college or university mm -hmm. and of course it's Victoria showed me different movies and she's been food and all that stuff and yeah been, it's funny I've been hip all right it's <laughs> funny because we actually watched white chicks last night white chicks last night yeah, and that's, it was funny okay that's, that's pretty interesting um, uh, when will you two when you two will get married and will you do it in the states we're not sure um that's the future probably you you'll hear about it on the channel when it's already done or being planned uh, when you have a daughter and a son, what will y'all name them? <laughs> no TBA, idea. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we already responded to this question right here. No kids are popping out of this oven anytime soon. Just why to let y'all know. Why did you just be TMI, man? Come on. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we've been going for 40 minutes now. Fedora, do you like mac and cheese? I love it when it's done properly. Well, my dad makes it. Remember when he made mac and cheese? Not for only your dad, but I'm just yeah, including your dad, but not only your dad. Because some people jack it up and don't know how to make yeah. it. Boo I James, think, I, I think you know what I'm talking about. I think I think you, your dad made it with actual cheese. Mm -hmm. But I hate when they do it with like fake cheese. When they just it's some sort of, it's not cheese. It's right. like melted. It's it's just so fake. What's the meaning of life? To be happy. Yeah. You agree? Period. To be happy. Is that a yeah. Ruski last name? Kira Vasilyev. Um, I think so. Kira is a Ruski name. Uh, Vasilyev is a m male last name, but I would say mm -hmm. Kira Vasilyev would be fully Russian. All right, that's Let about it. Let me see who's what? watching, though. Oh, how many people watching? Yeah, before we end it. 40. <gasps> that's not bad. Yeah. How, we've been going for 38 minutes? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a long time. All right, you have two minutes to ask any other questions before we leave, guys. Oh, I love him. He always comments on all of our stuff. Russians react? Yes. And I got a pretty popular channel. So. And your channel is actually really good. I think I commented. It's so good, Russians react. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Fedora, do you like Russia or USA more and why? There, there's no more or less. It's different. Uh, Russia to me is better for the culture because I mean of course I grew up there US is better for living standards but it's not a you know I like it more or less it's just different um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that's that's about it let's take two more questions if you won the lottery tomorrow what would be what what would you be doing next week girl is or, it a girl? Is it a girl? I'm sorry. I didn't <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> Boy, girl, whoever you are. Um, Shower the world. 
travel the world. Me and Fedora will be out in 5,000, 10 different countries, y'all. We will be out here. <laughs> yeah, probably be traveling. Yeah, um, and then you'll save the rest because I'm a save, spender. Save the rest, invest mm -hmm. half. Invest half of it. I mean, of course, it's going to be taxed and stuff, but still, if we had, let's say we win a million dollars, invest half, travel for another $10,000. And then the rest is save for living for another five or six years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, you just be smart about it. Uh, do you plan on traveling to different countries? Of course. Yes, that's course. that's the dream. That's the goal. Um, once we're done with school, we'll finally be able to live our lives. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the lives that we find want. a job, make money, travel whenever. Uh, and then Kira Vasily said, yes, my last name is from my dad, he's Russian. Yeah. Um, cool. Oh, see, I knew it. Yeah, 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 of course, Vasilyev. I, I had many friends, their last name is Vasilyev. Privyet, Kira. But, well, I say that um, whenever in Russia, a lady has the same last name, it, it, we add A to it. So your name would be Kira Vasilyeva. Mm -hmm. You can probably ask your dad about it too, and he's going to tell you um, mm -hmm. about it. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much. That's it. Let's close this out so you won't read any more comments. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for mm -hmm. you know getting us to 20,000 subscribers. It's been an amazing journey so far. We've been going through the ups and downs, saying what are we going to do with the channel, things like that. But I think we're slowly finding our, our niche of just simply talking about our lives because I yes. think our lives are pretty, pretty, pretty cool, pretty interesting, and full of full of love and happiness. Yes. So, Words. Yeah, I just want to say thank you guys for all the questions. Thank you for being on this journey with us for so long because we did start this channel, what, four years ago? Three years you ago? always be adding a year no, or two. No, <laughs> three years ago. Wait. Let's see. Three How years ago. How about you check it out? Fedora always acts like I exaggerate and I swear it's three years ago. Okay. I How started, much you want to bet? We started in September. Dinner tonight? Of 2016. 15. In, in September. So it's been... Three and a half, not even. See? Yet. Okay, I guess you're right. Sure. Hashtag Victoria's right. But I you're just want to say. me. Because they always say hashtag Fedora's right. I'm like, I love it. I live for it, guys. I of live course, for the comments. Because you asked us to put it in the comments. I live of for course. the comments, guys. But Spasiva, on a serious note, we love you guys. And we're just so happy to be on this journey with you guys. Right. So. We're going to see you next paka, time. Paka, paka. Paka, paka. Paka.